Hi there. Right now we will learn how to create a credit card design business card. This is totally exceptional and uncommon type business card. If you have your Visa card or MasterCard or American Express, any type of credit card you may have, and we will create your business card and it will be look like a MasterCard or Visa or American Express. So, in this tutorial, we will create a business card that will be totally look like a MasterCard and your all info will be there. So let's take a look how you will create a credit card design, especially MasterCard design business card. As you know, the standard size for creating a business card width will be 3.5 inches and height will be 2 inches. So let's create an image with that size and therefore we have to select this file menu and from there we will go for new option. And here is the tab for creating our new image and as I told you before that width will be 3.5 inches. Please make sure this field should be with inches. You don't have to select pixels or centimeters or millimeters. Just put inches as well as we will use inches for height also and we will put two inches for height and the resolution of the image will be 300 pixel per inches and color mode will be rgb color and i want to write a name for this image let me write a name like a credit card design business card so let me write the name credit card design business card cool so i'm selecting ok from here you can take a look our image is created and you can take a look a new layer is created on our layer panels and i want to rename this layer so therefore you just have to double click on your mouse left button on here so let me double click on here and i want to write white bg that means white background and i'm selecting ok so you can take a look our layer name is changed and right now we will add a wood background in this image so let's add a wood background in here to insert a wood background we have to go our file menu and from there we will use this place embedded option so i'm selecting this place embedded option and you will get a white wood here is the white wood image in our exercise file so i'm selecting this white wood image and i'm selecting place option you can take a look a wood background i mean a wood image is appearing on here so let's scale it with our white bg layer so here is the scale option okay now it all looks good and here is the tick mark i'm selecting this tick mark or you can use control and enter button from your keyboard and you can take a look a new layer is appearing on our layer panel with the similar name of white wood image okay cool so right now we will draw a rectangle shape and therefore we have to use our rectangle tools so here is the rectangle tools and please make sure your fill color of a rectangle shape is black so let's draw a rectangle shape okay looks good and i want to increase corner radius for each of corner left right top and bottom i want to increase the radius till 30 pixel so let me increase the radius till 30 pixel for each and every corner so you can take a look a round shape is created for all corners and now it really looks good so let me minimize this 
properties and I want to rename these layer names I want to write card shape black so therefore I just have to double click on here with my left button of mouse and let me write card shape black okay looks good and now we will insert a black leaf image so let's insert a black leaf image from our file menu so here is the file menu and again i will go for place embedded option so i'm selecting this place embedded option and here is the black leaf image so i'm selecting this black leaf image and i'm selecting place option okay here is the black leaf image and let's scale it properly so i want to scale it on here now it looks good and i'm selecting okay actually this black leaf image we will use as a curd image so therefore we have to use create clipping mask option so you just have to select this black leaf image and you have to click right button on your mouse and then you will get create clipping mask option so i'm selecting this create clipping mask option and you can take a look our design is created and i want to reduce the opacity of this black leaf image okay let me reduce the opacity from here and i want to reduce the opacity I think 85% is good okay so now it looks really good and I will make this curved shape black and this black leaf image as I want to convert it into a smart object so let's do that I'm selecting this black leaf image and I also select this curved shape black layer so I want to select both of these two layers so let me select this curved shape layer and you have to press shift button from your keyboard and you just have to select this curved shape black layers and you can take a look these two layers are selected and you just have to right click on your mouse and you will get this convert to a smart object so i'm selecting this convert to a smart object option and you can take a look this two layers is converted into a smart object okay cool now it really looks good and now we will create a mastercard design logo actually it's not will be mastercard logo but it will be similar like a mastercard logo so let's create it so to create a logo that will be similar like mastercard we have to use the ellipse tool so where is the ellipse tool you just have to select this rectangle tools and just press right button on your mouse and then you will get this ellipse tool option so i'm selecting this ellipse tool option and please make sure the fill color of your ellipse tool Will be red so i'm selecting this fill option and from color picker i will select a red color so here is the red color and i'm selecting okay and right now i will draw a round shape using ellipse tool and the fill color of the round shape will be red so let's draw a round shape and please hold your shift button during drawing a round shape so i am pressing shift button from my keyboard and i want to draw a round shape okay looks good and you can take a look a new layer is created and i want to rename this layer by double clicking my mouse left button on here and i want to write that red circle red circle okay cool so right now i will duplicate this layer and therefore you just have to right click on here and then you will get this duplicate layer option so i'm selecting this duplicate layer option and i want to write yellow circle 
as a name of this new layer yellow circle okay and i'm selecting okay okay looks good and make sure your yellow circle layer is selected and we will scale this circle and therefore you just have to use Control t button from your keyboard or you can use uh, edit menu and from there you will get this uh, transform path option and you will get this scale option so you can use any one of them so let's scale it i want to move it a little bit right i think okay good i think here is good and here is a tick mark so i am selecting this tick mark and right now we will change the color for this red circle and therefore you just have to double click on this layer so i'm double clicking on here and you will get the color picker option and we will use the yellow color so where is the yellow color here is the yellow color and i'm selecting okay now you can take a look a design is created i mean a logo is created it look like uh, similar to mastercard actually it's not the actual mastercard logo but it's look like a mastercard logo so it really looks awesome and right now we will go for type tool that means we have to type some text and initially we will write the name so let's write the name using type tools so here is the type tool and by using this type tool i will write my name first as an example and please make sure the color of text is white so here is the color option and i want to put pure white color so here is the pure white color and i'm selecting okay okay looks good and let's write my name first i want to write my name stephen Cowell saran okay so here is the text but i don't want to use this font i want to change the font so let's select into a text by pressing ctrl and a that's called all select from your keyboard and here is the font option and i have I have lots of font collection but one of my favorite font is MIT -er. so let's go for MIT -er. MIT -er font here is the MIT -er font I want to use this font and this MIT -er font already given in our exercise file you just have to install it if you don't have on your computer so you can install it from our exercise file that MIT -er font and now it really looks good but it's actually right now it's in semi bold mode but we will go for bold mode so you have to select once again the entire text and here is the option i will go for bold option so here is the bold option okay looks good and here is the tick mark i am selecting this tick mark and i want to scale this text with this business card so therefore you just have to press ctrl and t button from your keyboard and let's scale it properly okay cool so here is the tick mark okay the uh, font and the font style really looks good but let's make this font more attractive and therefore we will use a bevel and ambush effect in this text so let's add a bevel and ambush effect to this text and then this text will look much better so let's do that so here is the fx option i am selecting this fx option and uh, here is the bevel and ambush option so i'm selecting this bevel and ambush option and here is the settings for bevel and ambush okay so we will use 
this inner bevel as our style and let's customize this depth size and soften parameter then you can take a look how it's all uh, look like and uh, let's uh, change the depth percentage and increase the percentage of depth i want to go for i think 600 is good so we will put 615 percent as our depth parameter and let's increase the size so let's increase the size and you can take a look the changes appearing on here so let's increase a little bit more i think 15 is good let me write 15 okay cool so i want to increase the soften pixel so let's increase the soften pixel let's increase a little bit more okay now it really looks good and it really looks much better than before so our depth parameter will be 615 percent size will be 15 pixel and soften will be 5 pixel okay so i am selecting okay now it really looks much better if you turn it off this effect then you can have a previous view here is the previous one i mean before and here is the after i think it really looks much better than before okay right now we will work with our designation so let's write the designation but before that i want to convert this text layer into a smart object so let's do that and therefore you just have to right click on your mouse and then you will get this convert to smart object so i'm selecting convert to smart object and you can take a look our text layer is converted into a smart object so let's write the designation here so let me write the designation CEO of skill 4 okay CEO of skill 4 but we will not use this MITR font for writing the designation I want to change this font and I want to use Nyla font so let's change the Nyla font let's select enter text and here is the Nyla font so I'm selecting Nyla font and Nyla font already given in our exercise file you can install it from there and I want to decrease the text size and here is the text size I want to go for 10 point I think 10 point will be better yeah it looks good and here is the tick mark and I want to scale this designation with our name so therefore I'm pressing ctrl and t button from my keyboard and let's scale this designation properly okay looks good and here is the tick mark you can take a look the designation we scaled it properly with our name so right now we will work with our phone number actually we will write the phone number in here in a different way as you know every credit card have a card number and we will write our phone number as like a card number so let's do that so let's write the phone number i'm writing phone number on here phone triple o triple o okay cool but i don't want to use this same font for phone number i want to use a different font for phone number and i want to use soloist title for phone number so let me select enter this text and we will go for soloist title so let's find where the soloist title font yeah here is the soloist title so i am selecting this soloist title font and i want to increase the text size so let's increase the text size i want to put 14. Uh, 14 seems a little bit bigger and 12. i want to write 13. yeah now it looks good so here is, here is a tick mark and right now i want to scale this phone number 
in our business card so let's scale this phone number i am pressing ctrl and t button from my keyboard and i want to scale it properly okay well, looks good and here is the tick mark now it looks really good but i don't want to keep this phone number quite simple i want to make it more attractive so therefore we will use stroke and bevel and ambush option in here so let's add the bevel and ambush effect first then we will add a stroke effect so let's add a bevel and ambush effect from our layer panel so here is the fx option and here is the bevel and ambush option so i'm selecting this bevel and ambush option you can take a look the changes on here but right now we will not use this white color for our highlight mode and we will not use this black color for our shadow mode we will change this to color uh, i want to use a deep yellow color for our highlight mode and i want to use a light yellow color for our shadow mode so let's do that here is the yellow color and i want to use a deep yellow color i think it's good and i'm selecting okay and here is the shadow mode i want to use a light yellow color okay it looks good and i'm selecting okay you can take a look the changes appearing on here and i want to increase the size a little bit more for this phone number so let's increase the size okay i think 40 percent is oh looks good okay so i'm selecting okay so our bevel and ambush effect is added and right now we will add a stroke so let's add a stroke and therefore we have to go effects option once again so here is the effects option and here is the stroke option so i'm selecting this stroke option and you can take a look already a black stroke is applied to our phone number but right now we will not add the black stroke we will add a red color stroke as because a red color is really suitable with the black background so let's change the color so here is the color option and i want to select a red color and i'm selecting okay you can take a look at preview but i think the stroke size seems a little bit bigger so i want to reduce the size of stroke right now it's an eight pixel i want to make it half four pixel okay looks good and i want to reduce the opacity i want to reduce the opacity okay i think 82 percent is good okay so i'm selecting okay and you can take a look now our phone number looks much better than before and let's make this text layer i mean i want to convert this text layer into a smart object so let's convert into smart object by pressing right button of your mouse and here is a convert to smart object option you can take a look our text layer is converted into a smart object and right now i will add a qr code actually nowadays most of credit card have a magnetic device on here and i want to place this qr code and it will be look like a magnetic device actually instead of magnetic device i want to add this qr code so let's add a qr code in here before placing a qr code we have to generate a qr code so we will generate a qr code from a website and here is the website and the link of this website is the qr code generator.com so let me write some information in here i want to write my name first then designation Let me write the phone number. And let me write email address info at the rate skill for 
facebook.com and I want to write a face my Facebook com slash okay and right now I want to download this QR code and therefore you have to select this save option so I'm selecting this save option and please make sure the format it should be with PNG format and let me write the name QR code so you just have to click save and you can take a look a QR code is downloaded so we will use this QR code in our business card okay our QR code is downloaded and right now we will place that QR code on here and therefore you just have to use this file menu and from there we will use this place embedded option and here is our QR code so I'm selecting this QR code and I'm selecting place so here is our QR code let me scale it and I want to place this QR code on here I think it's look a little bit bigger I want to scale it with this size I think it's all looks good and I want to place it on here okay so now it looks good we will use this QR code instead of a magnetic device and here is a tick mark I'm clicking this tick mark and now it really looks good so our name designation phone number and QR code is placed and right now we will put the other enter information like address Facebook email and all other information we will place it right now so let's do that okay so right now we will draw a rounded rectangle shape and inside the rounded rectangle shape we will write our address our Facebook link and our email address so let's create a rounded rectangle shape and therefore you just have to right click on your mouse on this ellipse tool and then you will get this rounded rectangle tool so I'm selecting this rounded rectangle tool and please make sure the fill color will be not red so I'm selecting this red color and here is the color picker uh, let me find some better color I want to use this color I think this one is good so I'm selecting OK and let me draw a rectangle shape with a rounded rectangle shape so I want to draw a rounded rectangle shape on here okay looks good and I want to reduce the opacity of this rounded rectangle shape I want to reduce the opacity I want to put for 25 percent okay and I want to rename this layer name I want to write this layer name address bar instead of a rounded rectangle one so you just have to double click on here and let me write the name address bar okay so right now we will write our address in here and therefore we have to use this type tool so I'm selecting this type tool and let me write the address so let me write the address I want to write one two three four Springfield Road okay so we want to scale this text properly with our address bar and therefore I want to decrease the text size so let me select enter address and here is the 
text size I want to go for nine point okay looks good and I want to place this CA on here okay looks really good here is our address and right now I will write the Facebook link so here is a tick mark I am selecting this tick mark and once again I have to use this type tool and let me write here Facebook and let me write the profile address fb.com slash coel stephen okay so here is the tick mark i am selecting this tick mark and i have to scale this link and therefore you just have to press ctrl and t button from your keyboard and let's scale it properly Uh, I think it's quite closer with the address I want to place a little bit down here I think now it's looks good okay and right now I will write the email so let me write the email address I want to write the email address so let me write the email info at the rate for dot com okay so I'm selecting this tick mark and I'm pressing ctrl and T button from my keyboard and let me scale it properly okay and I think we have to increase the height of this address bar so therefore I'm selecting this address bar and i have to scale it so therefore i am pressing ctrl and t button from my keyboard and i want to increase the size of this address bar a little bit more and let me select this tick mark and let's take a look how it looks like i think it looks much better okay so this is how you will create a credit card design business card let me turn off the grid view then you will have a clear look on this business card so here is the view menu and here is the show option and from there you will have to select this grid option so i'm selecting this grid option okay now you will have the clear look and if you don't want to put this white wood background you can turn it off so let's turn it off this white wood background and let's take a look how it look like so here is the white wood background I want to turn it off from here here is the look so without white wood background actually it's depend on you and depend on your choice if you want to put any background you can place any image on your background or if you don't want to use any image then you don't have to place or put any image on your background it's totally depend up to you so this is a credit card design business card and it's really exceptional so if you have to create a business card i will always request you create some creative or uncommon or exceptional business card and if you want to create a business card like this credit card design business card then i will request you please try minimum three or four times by watching this tutorial or if you have any question then you can write it on our course comment box so let's see you in our next lesson.